The old government building was opened in November 1876. It was the centre, indeed the, the, the hub of the civil service. Now a lot of people don't associate graffiti with this historic building and it amazes them when they find that we do have it. The majority of the graffiti in this building will be found in the attic. There are some left by tradesmen, some by the clerks, the junior clerks who had to do the filing in the attic, uh, and there's a whole variety of it. All the ministries, and there were 13 of them to start with, were in this building. The thing about the, the attic is, it's unadorned. It's as it was in 1875, 76 when it was built. There is no varnish, there's no paint. It's as it was, so we're seeing the original uh, timbers in the original state um, with the blade marks, the saw marks from the sawmill still evident and you see them quite clearly. Now there are many aspects uh, of the graffiti that I find very interesting. Graffiti left by someone that describes the disgrace of a particular fellow who worked at the building, a fellow called Tiny Wyndham. And that was in 1924. I can't find out why he was dismissed and why he was disgraced. He was a former electrician in the building. And the second part, uh, piece of graffiti that I find very interesting is a drawing of a tall ship passing by which looks like uh, an outline of Mount Victoria. I find that very interesting. It's, it's very well drawn and it has all the detail of a tall ship which would only be known really by someone of that era. So it makes me think that it was uh, pre-1900. We're offering tours of the attic through the tour, we will show them the timber work, the woodwork, the graffiti, and one other thing that they'll be able to participate in, and that is the, the winding of the clock. We have the oldest civic clock in the country, and it works on a pendulum and weight system, which has to be wound every seven days. Well, I can tell you, if the clock stops, <laughs> for some reason, at the weekend, and it's not going. Monday morning at the office, the phone will ring and the locals will tell us that the, the clock's not working. So although you might think it's redundant, <laughs> it's, people still use it, and it's still observed. We have to ensure that we protect the building from further graffiti. The graffiti we talk about is not on show. Tradesmen didn't write on paint, freshly painted walls. They wrote inside the walls, waiting to be discovered at a later date by whomever um, opens the wall up. It was a record of their passing, of their craftsmanship. I, I think this building established us as a nation. It was, it showed the growth of the colony as it was then, and into a dominion and into self-government. So it represents all those things to me. And it's not just wood and plaster.